Game Dev Journey. Hey everyone, it's Rob from Game Dev Journey. Happy Friday! It's the weekend, baby! Time for some indie devlogs, but first, a joke. Do you know that Asia has the fastest internet in the world? So if Asia had a gamer name, it should definitely be Lo Ping. Like if you laughed and subscribe for more jokes like this. And now, on to the devlogs! Yotes games have come a long way on their fighting brony game. The commentary videos explaining the progress that has been made on the game are a lot of fun to listen to, and you can tell that the team enjoys being together. This is a channel which could use more support, so head over there and subscribe. You may remember that Blacko switched engines for his 2D RPG brawler game, X Versa, from Game Maker Studio 2 to Godot. Well, he's made quite a lot of progress since then, adding audio and even a detailed forest scene. He's also been playing around with hardware and has a video where he made a Game Boy game and flashed it onto the ROM of his own Game Boy Color. Check it out if you want a trip down memory lane, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Dankel has come a long way since we last checked in with him, and he's added a pyramid and winter level to his 2D platformer. Remember that he's a solo dev, and so we can't expect blazing fast progress. In my opinion, the game's looking incredibly polished and professional, and the advice that Dankel gives in his videos is so useful. I highly recommend heading over to his channel and subbing, so you don't miss any new content. Kalame321 is still working hard on his game called Crystal Sky. A lot of progress has been made on his inventory system, and his latest Godot tutorial details how to add usable items to the inventory system itself. Many people in the comments have been expressing their gratitude for the way that everything is explained so well. So you know that this is useful and helpful content. Go over to Kalame's channel and subscribe now. Tan for Games has renamed the channel to Games with Freddy, and recently he's found a lot of success with his series in which he remakes classic 2D games in 3D. Examples include Super Mario Bros. 3, but it's in 3D and first person, as well as the original Metroid, but it's also in 3D and first person. Do yourself a favor and go to Freddy's channel, watch these gems, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for stopping by! Hope to see you all again next time.